I'm Tia Borden with Mining Eye Iron. Joining me is Marco Rock, President and CEO of Cassier Gold. Marco, always a pleasure sitting down with you. My pleasure. We're all over the place in all these different cities. We're in Miami currently. You get a little bit of heat, which is nice. Last time we were in Vancouver. Are That's you enjoying right. the conference so far? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's great to be here. Like Miami is where it's my actually my first time in Miami, so it's first been time. yeah. That's right. It's, it's uh, yeah. I'm quite well impressed with Miami. I, I like it. You know, this is, this is the first Minds and Money show in Miami as well. It's uh, it's it's busier than I thought it was going to be, and um, yeah, it's it's nice to you know see new investors meet current investors as well. and I've noticed yeah. a lot of new faces. Mm -hmm. um, what are you hoping to get from being at this conference? Yeah, so we're, we're here mostly continuing to share the story, right? Making sure people are aware of the, you know, the out outstanding project that we have at Cassier Golds uh, and really, you know, trying to meet new investors to, uh, to, to, to really demonstrate that potential as well as, you know, updating new investors on all all the things that we're doing because you know last year we had our largest drill campaign to date 23,000 meters we've only released 8,000 meters so far so 15,000 meters coming uh, in the next few weeks probably going to be released all, all of that before the end of March so it's going to be very heavy over the next few weeks in terms of news flow so you know quite quite uh, you know quite excited to be able to you know share that what does soon. the progress look like for your flagship project it's it's going quite well we're, we're very happy with with the progress we've done so far we've uh, you know, in, in 2020 we drilled 5,000 meters. In 2021 we drilled 11,000 meters. Last year we drilled 23,000 meters, and and you know we want to keep that momentum. I think we have uh, the, the the asset is really living up to the expectations. We are expanding mineralization, extending mineralization uh, across our project, and um, you know can't can't wait to uh, to open camp again. We'll open camp again in May, okay. just around the corner, and, and we're looking to do another 10, uh, 20 to 25,000 meter drill program to to really keep on. Keep on keeping on, on the momentum of, of the great work we've been doing this so far. This is spring ahead. That's right. What are you seeing in the market right now? So, like the, the market right now, I think is quite interesting. Uh, you know, the gold price is kind of you know wobbling around nine, uh, 1900. You know, it's uh, it almost got to 2000. Now it's like 1850, 1830 this morning. So it's um, it's uh, you, you know it, I you know gold has been doing its its work. So in 2022, it's it, it didn't go down. Basically, I think it was up one percent. So you really uh, serve it as as that uh, reserve asset as a, as a, as a defense uh, hedging uh, against the, the wider markets. And um, it's interesting we haven't seen like a big inflow of generalists. Um, but we're, what we're starting to see right now is is a bit of a, a flurry of M&A, um, which which is great for the gold sector in, in general, but also for British Columbia, where we're based in particular, because we, we're seeing a lot of M&A in our region. We, we've seen we've seen Victoria Gold, which is based in the Yukon, making a move to acquire um, Attack Resources. Uh, we saw you know a couple of years ago uh, GT Gold got acquired for 400 million by by Newmonts. Uh, now, we, now Newman itself is making a move on on uh, on Newcrest. Newcrest has uh, one of their main assets in BC, uh, the Redcrest project, which is 200 kilometers south of us. Uh, so, you know, let's see how that uh, those uh, acquisition discussions go. Newcrest itself actually. Uh, a couple of years back also made an acquisition for $2.8 billion on, on Pretium, the Bruce Check project also in BC. So it's, it's great to see the m and in the sector. Uh, I think that will start attracting generalists and it also proves that both uh, BC as well as uh, the Yukon are, are great jurisdictions to, to be in and, and work in and, and the, ba the majors are recognizing that. So uh, I think that you know, they will be you know that they will be good and will probably help attract some of the generalists because the sector is is very undervalued. The, the metal prices are attractive, and the valuations from the producers to the to the developers to the juniors are very attractive as well. So, so hopefully that will uh, turn into you know higher valuations in the near future. What makes the Yukon such a great mining jurisdiction? I think you know the, the Yukon itself. I, I think is mo first and foremost a lot of prospectivity. Um, you know, and it's a geology where we are is actually not too dissimilar from, uh, you know, geologists actually can, you know, there's, a, there's big debates on, 
uh, on, on the, the geological connections between BC and, and the Yukon, but Yukon is certainly very perspective. Uh, BC is uh, just as perspective, but BC has the benefit of having a lot of infrastructure. Uh, in fact, the main, the main highway that goes from British Columbia into, into Yukon is Highway 37 that literally bisects our property, and, and it's, it's, it's really valuable, and we're, infrastructure is so important. Uh, and, we're, and we're very lucky because of that as well, because as a company, at Cast Air Gold, we have a wealth of infrastructure because we're a brownfield project, best producing company. We, it comes with paved roads like the Highway 37. We have a property, 160 kilometers of property access roads, 25 kilometers of underground workings, a fully owned and permitted mill, permanent camp. And um, especially in the inflationary environment that we're living right now, that the replacement value of that infrastructure is also going up. Uh, and, and we are very lucky because we have that infrastructure. And you know, it's, it's, it's hard to quantify, but it, you, probably the infrastructure we have, if we want to replace it right now, it probably would cost north of $200 million. So uh, that's another benefit that we have as a company. Marco, our um, platform is primarily investors. What should our investors know about Cassier? Well, uh, you know, as I just mentioned, that infrastructure that really sets us apart as a company. Very few projects have uh, uh, the amount of infrastructure that we have. And that really puts us hundreds of millions of dollars ahead in, in, in development costs. Uh, the other thing that is really the other key benefit that we have as a company is the fact that we have mine permits. We have mine permits uh, in and around the Torres deposit. We have mine, mine permits for the Table Mountain, uh, Cassier South uh, area. And uh, we already have also a substantial resource. We have a 1.4 million ounce uh, resource at 1.14 grams per ton, right at surface in open latrine in all directions and adapt. And in fact, some of the drill results we had over the last few months, we already extended mineralization 700 meters to the east. We have ex extended mineralization um, uh, at depth as well. And, uh, and we still have 15,000 meters of, uh, of news flow to release. So let's see what's, what's coming there. But we, we're feeling very confident and very excited about what's coming. Lots to look forward to in the coming months. Marco, it's always a pleasure chatting with you. Likewise, thanks thank for, you. Thanks so much for sitting down. Thank you to you.